Hi, I'm Raya. And I'm Brandon. And you're watching... More Love with RP. <laughs> and today we are talking about something that is going on in the world. And it is, if I had to title this message, <laughs> How the Coronavirus Has Affected Our Marriage. Yeah. So, here we are, like day four into the what is it called like the quarantining yeah and first and foremost let me tell you this is a bad time for allergies okay everybody with allergies i feel you this is a terrible time for you because everywhere you go if you so much as go <laughs> everybody's like get off quarantine <laughs> it's like bruh it's like 80 degrees and it was 40 yesterday i digress yes please digress <laughs> so i digressed okay so anyway, um, my wife, my beautiful wife, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> She's blushing. <laughs> my wife was set to have major surgery uh, about four days ago. And we had prepared everything, right? Yeah. We got our house cleaned up. We had her mom coming to stay with her during her recovery after this major surgery. Um, she did all these pre-op, doctor's visits, all the scheduling between the two surgeons that were going to do this surgery. And the day before the surgery, can't do the surgery because coronavirus. Like, I know that that's not probably what the official word was, but that's all I heard. Hey, we can't do the surgery. Why can't you do the surgery? Coronavirus. Like, that's it. I'm sure there was a legit reason, but... All I heard was coronavirus, and I was like, Sir! so that's that's my purview, my purview, my point of point of view. <laughs> would you like to share your point? Yeah, of view? I would. Please go. Please. So, um, yeah, the coronavirus Sir! has definitely affected our marriage. Mm -hmm. Like Brandon said, we had scheduled our lives, our work lives, our home lives, finances our time, all of these things to have a major surgery um, that I actually need. Um, it's not life threatening, but if you would like to get some information about what that surgery is, yes, um, leave a comment in the comment section below because ironically, <laughs> the day before the surgery was scheduled, we did a video. That's right. We mm. And we were going to drop it until we got the phone call the next uh, morning. Yes. So if you would like to know what that surgery is, because it is still going to happen. Yeah. We just have to wait and see. Um, see when. when it's exactly. Gonna but it's going to happen. So if you want to know the information, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. However, uh, we had turned our lives upside down with lots of doctor's visits, pre-ops, and all those things to get ready for a surgery that hasn't happened yet. And the main reason why we wanted to do this video is because we know that a lot of people's lives have been turned upside down. Right. A lot of marriages and family and business lives have been affected because of this coronavirus. And our instinct was to be bitter? pissed off and bitter. Bitter is probably a good one. I think one. we took a day. Sour. I think we took a day. We took yeah, a whole 24 talk. hours to be pissed off at and this let's virus. Be, yeah, let's like be real talk because <laughs> it wasn't just the virus, it was also the monumentalness of the buildup yeah. of all the yeah. preparation to be deflated. So we had our moment. We called our kids into our bedroom because like that's how big this like our kids knew what was happening, what the surgery was, what, what it was going to uh, require for her yeah. what was going to happen in terms of her recovery and she, mommy's going to come home the day after the surgery and y'all can't like jump on her climb on the bed and like they knew they knew all about all about surgery. that but then they mostly knew that she, it was something she needed and she was excited to get it done because it was going to mean less pain and less issues and they were like yay mommy less pain less issues you know they're kids they just relate to very small things <laughs> and so they came in the room and we told them mommy's not getting the surgery because of the coronavirus and like all four of us busted out crying yeah just cried like and i mean like hard cries like 
Lord, why, yo? Like, why? Yeah. And we know that a lot of you are being extremely inconvenienced. Mm -hmm. during this time of the coronavirus and what we want to do is encourage you that yes, even sure. though your lives are being turned upside down with having to take off of work having your kids out of school not being able to get the health care you need because the hospitals are quarantining and all of these things we are blessed yes we are blessed when you look at the numbers and um just what other countries are going through and what we're going through mm -hmm. it could be a lot worse it really could and i'm praying that it doesn't get worse so do what you're right. supposed to do stay home um it's okay don't don't break character mm -hmm. um but we want to encourage you um not to lose heart we want you guys to focus on the good things and stay positive yes not just for yourself and for your sanity but for the health of your relationships, yeah. for the health of your family, look at the positive things. You have your health, hopefully, if you're watching this video. Um, we are doing everything we can as a state and as a nation to get, and as a world, hopefully, to get everything under control. Mm -hmm. um, and just as we do the things that we're supposed to do, um, hopefully things will get back on track. But our prayer is that um, we don't, we don't want to pretend that this isn't bad. Correct. This is bad. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> this affects marriages. This affects families. Yeah. But we have a lot to be grateful for. And if we just hang in there and not turn on one another when we get cabin fever. Right. And, and, and get angry easily. Um, let's look to build relationships as best we can, even if at a distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nurture relationships. This is the time that you have the time right. to nurture relationships, get creative, and yeah. And yeah? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I feel like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, we can't go to restaurants, can't take you out to eat, that's not happening. Can't go to the movies, <laughs> that's not happening. Sorry. Um, I really ain't finna do no more drive through Like, people, oh, you can do, do a drive through It's like, who testing them? And, like, I don't know what they... Nah, bro. I'm just gonna stay home. And I think the last thing that we kind of want to talk about, and, you know, we'll wrap this up a little bit, is when it comes to marriages. Uh, marriages get tested in so many different ways. Yeah. And if we're honest, like, this surgery was something that we were like, yo, if we get this surgery, well, I'm not gonna go gonna go with her in the operating room but if she gets the surgery yeah. then the issues that she's having that affect both of us will then go away and no longer affect both of us so to know that she's not getting the surgery i can be like yo i'm sour you know she's sour because she's not getting it and so like it could definitely cause tension between the two of us i mean think about that a lot of times people have tension between the two of each, like the, the, the two individuals, but the reason is not the other person. No. It's like you're just it's some here. Outside thing, yeah. Right. Like I'm mad about this, but you're just here. So I take my stuff out on you. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on. <up>. Nope. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> one of the things we want to encourage you guys is to okay. One of the things that we want to encourage you guys is to not take your frustrations out on each other. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have been at work and then as work goes along, you're like, whew, still get to work. And then the manager comes in or something's like, hey, sorry, we got to send you guys home. And you're like, girl, yeah. then you go home and that frustration starts coming out and you take it out on each other. And that's just not wise. This is the time to come together. Yeah. I know it sounds cliched. And I know saying it sounds cliche, sounds cliche, but it's a time where you actually have to yeah. come together. Yeah. I mean, just real talk. It's day four, and some of y'all are like about to lose it, and they said eight weeks of this stuff. Ugh. So like, see, that's what I'm like. Last word, persevere. Just persevere, hang in there. Find a way to see the finish line now. Like, don't wait till it's seven weeks. Like, all right, can't wait to get out here because y'all getting on my nerve. Like, get there today where you can say, you know what? However long this takes, 
let's enjoy each other. Yeah, and if you would like to get some tips on what you guys can do to keep yourselves occupied mm -hmm. during this quarantine, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below because we make a video. We might. <laughs> or several. You never know. <laughs> like dating ideas. The coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> let us know um, how we can... Let us know. Are you mad? Let us know... Oh, there it is. ...how we can assist you during this time of coronavirus quarantine mm. and how to keep your marriage from imploding. <laughs> yes. Uh, being in close quarters for eight weeks straight I, I, I can do it to you. Anyway, yeah. we hope you enjoyed this we video. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Yes, please. And uh, if you have not yet, there's a lot more of these shenanigans. <laughs> so you might want to subscribe yes. to the channel of More Love with R&B, where we do a ton of other things. People don't know, like, we do, like, this whole marriage advice thing, but then we do, like, funny videos, like... The weird soda challenge and this. Like, if you want to see more of that, because we're just no. stuck in the house, leave a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> Don't leave a comment. <laughs> Somebody I know is going to leave a comment about that, and I'm going to be real mad when I see you on the street. It's going to be eight weeks, but when I see you on the street. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye. Peace.